Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make samples for someone like Travis Scott or Don Tolliver. Uh, before I get into it though, I want to announce that I just dropped a one-shot kit called Preludia. So I'll show you some of the sounds you get in it. First you have some uh, accents. Some basses. Pets Some uh, plucked strings And some uh, woodwinds So yeah, this kit is going to be on a sale for the next three days, so go check that out, and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So first, here's what the sample sounds like. So this is a pretty cool sample, it sounds dark and uh, unique, so I'll show you how I made it. So the first thing I started with was this guitar that I recorded with my nylon guitar, and uh, it sounds like this. So the chord progression is actually quite simple. First we just have a C minor chord and then we have this uh, F minor chord. And at the second um, second bar we uh, change up the how we play the first chord so I added an extra note at the end. And then for the effects, the first thing I added was an EQ to get rid of some low end and some high end. And then I added the reverb with the thin plate, which is the reverb that I always use for guitars. And then I added this uh, imager from Waves. So without any effects, it was something like this. And with the effects. After that, I recorded a guitar lead on top of it, which sounds like this. Which is again really really simple, just a few notes and then at the end I added some a little bit of variation. And for the effects, just had an uh, EQ, then a reverb and then lastly a panomatic to make it go from left to right ear. Then after that, I recorded this, uh, or I got this piano from Contact, from Noir, called Mono Broadcast, and uh, it sounds like this. which is a bit of a crazy melody. So basically the first thing I started with was just this part right here that I recorded on the piano. And then after, uh, after that, I was just playing around on the keyboard and I just played these really high notes, which just sounded really good. So I added that in as well. And 
And then for the effects, I just added some EQ to get rid of low end. And then a reverb. And then I added this uh, compressor. And the reason I added this is because on this piano, if you play really loud uh, velocities, it sounds very harsh. So I pretty much just played everything at low velocities. And then I used the compressor to bring the volume back up. And then lastly, I just added an imager to it. After that, I knew I wanted to add a bass, so I got this bass from the one shot kit, and I came up with this pattern right here. For the effects for this, I just added an EQ to get rid of the high end, and then I added this uh, bass amplifier from Guitar Rig. After that, I added this uh, guitar from uh, the one shot kit and uh, came up with this right here. And this is literally just the C minor chord, the notes that are in the C minor chord just drummed down. For the effects for this, I just added some uh, EQ, a 3D chorus, a reverb, and then uh, an imager. this I was pretty much just happy with the, the result but I wanted to add a little bit more texture so not really a melody uh, so the first thing I added was this accent which sounds like this which is originally like a coin drop I'll show you what it sounds like Then I just added some uh, EQ to get rid of some unwanted frequencies. Then I added this uh, halftime, a reverb, and a uh, panomatic. Then after that, uh, the last thing I added was this uh, pad or uh, these belts from Contact from the library Atom, and I just played the C minor chord. And I was originally gonna have it like this, but uh, when uh, in the middle it kind of just stopped out of nowhere, so I just added uh, another chord in the middle, and then I turned down the velocities of it so it wouldn't be as harsh. And for the effects for this, I just added EQ, half time, reverb, and an imager. And all together. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Uh, I'll play the final result and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.